and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Russia against Uruguay. Well, I'm Peter Drury, and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Russia have elected to go 4-4-2. Well, it's a setup that places greater emphasis on the supply route coming from out wide. is best equipped for this game well I'm gonna say the Uruguayan Cavani his willingness to put so much effort in is why he scores so many goals and that also translates to his defensive work in pressing chasing and tackling it's all there from him I think the opposition defense agreed too he's gonna to be the source of so many of their headaches goes wide beautifully done Cherishev Chance to cross here. Timely intervention. Now it's Shirkov. Oh, and he's got good distance. Who's chasing? out on the left now and it's Luis Suarez Chirkov very little to choose between them but very early days and that's a foul simple decision for the referee it's not taken him long and that's going to be a booking available out wide Cavani Cherishev gets into the right position to intercept driving on now what can they conjure from here Cherishev can he put it away Samadov, Klushikov. Russia have had plenty of possession, but few, if any, genuine chances. Where to from here? That looks a good ball. Chirkov. The 
Fischerkopf. Glushikov! Oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Tries to dink it in. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Shirkov. Tries a through ball. Shot at goal! Goal! Russia! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Russia take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Russia scoring close to half-time to make it 1-0. Jimenez looks to dink one in. Samadov. Ball's gone out of play. He's left his man. And he's cut it out. And the half-time whistle goes. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Russia carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commit. That's a foul. No two ways about it. And no surprise, that's a booking. Now it's Cavani. Hit long and to big chance. Great build up. Dinks one in. Samatov. Can he deliver? Forward it goes. And he's there to cut it out. Plushikov. And it's Samatov. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, they're, they're... Looking to shoot! He can pounce on that! He has done it! And this is getting better and better. Muslera reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done to the goal scorer, but the keeper should have done a lot better. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. It's 
seems there's got to be a change. <laughs> Russia can have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. It's, it's Cavani! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Suarez yeah that's top defending and preventing him turning which can open up many possibilities he'll have a dip Muslera gets it upfield that's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition it already has actually yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Tries to stroke it through. Cavani. He... Cavani! Gorgeous from Cavani! Just one goal in it now! Game on! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. We have got ourselves a game here. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Sliding in, it's come loose. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Played out to the wing. Up to meet it! No mistake! Right back in it! Almost no time remaining. Game still on. are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. We have ourselves a real game here. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Jagoev. And the weighted pass. Russia showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And it's Samadov. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Samadov in towards... In with a header! The home support won't enjoy that. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. It so nearly came off for him. Ziuba certainly tends to cast his influence and he's in imposing mood again. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Cavani. Cavani with a delivery. Oh, good interception. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. A very good game of football. No winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth fine entertainment and it ends all square.